very pleased to join Congressman Inyert this morning to talk about uh, past efforts not only to save Scott to keep it off the base realignment commission uh, closure report or realignment uh, report, uh, but also to talk about the future and the job that we have ahead of us to make certain that Scott Air Force Base not only continues to remain open, but thrives and uh, brings additional missions here to the area. Uh, we expect that there will be another BRAC sometime in the near future. We're working with the Leadership Council not to reinvent the wheel, but in fact to use that same model. Uh, and uh, Congressman Enyart, we have been working very closely with him. Uh, it is very critical in the future that we keep someone on the Armed Services Committee that has the knowledge of not only Scott Air Force Base, but the military in general, their functions, the missions here at the base, uh, but also uh, knows the leaders in the military as well. And I know of no other person that's more qualified to do that than Congressman Enyard. So I'm very pleased that uh, he is on the ballot next Tuesday. I'm strongly supporting his re-election, and we need to keep him not only in Congress fighting for us, but fighting for Scott Air Force Base as well. Yeah, I'm really, uh, uh, really uh, proud to have uh, Congressman uh, Costello's uh, endorsement uh, and uh, the kind words that he spoke uh, regarding my work on the House Armed Services Committee. And of course, uh, as the only uh, retired two-star general sitting in Congress, uh, when I went to Congress uh, uh, two years ago, uh, I uh, went into Congress with a, a level of expertise regarding the military that uh, frankly no one else in Congress has. So I'm uh, very familiar with Scott and I'm very familiar with the issues facing Scott. Uh, we've been working very hard uh, for Scott uh, as part of the Armed Services Committee of course. Uh, I supported the amendment uh, to the National Defense Authorization Act, that's DOD's budget, which uh, prohibited uh, the DOD from doing a BRAC uh, through 2017. I'm very pleased to be working with former Congressman Costello uh, with the Southwestern Illinois Leadership Council uh, as well as state and munic municipal officials from throughout the area uh, and in a bipartisan manner. And I will tell you that we work not only in a bipartisan manner but also in a bi-state manner. Uh, so whether we're talking about Lacey Clay or whether we're talking about Claire McCaskill or Dick Durbin or, or uh, Ann Wagner, uh, John Shimkus, we all work together to ensure that Scott Air Force Base remains the vital part of our region's economy and our nation's defense.